warm and storms. That's the trend moving forward. Let's talk about it. What is going on everyone? My name is Zachary Hall, otherwise known as the Arkansas Storm Tracker. This video is being brought to you by Jam Mart, my go-to convenience store here in Western Arkansas, Pascal Air Plumbing and Electric, my go-to home service care company here in the state of Arkansas, and of course, Cusano's Pizza and the Butcher Block in Fort Smith. So the changes are coming. It's very, very likely that we're gonna have a pretty nice little warm up this week. I'm recording this on Wednesday. It's 7.48 a.m. at the time of recording this, so it's not too warm outside just yet. But changes are coming, especially into Thursday. And I think our warming trend is eventually going to lead to some thunderstorms, some possibly strong to severe. First and foremost, let's talk about this warm-up. As you can see here, this anomaly map, uh, the anomalies are all over the place and really start to increase as we roll into January. Not a cold start to January compared to what we just went through in late December. The reds and grays and bright reds are representative of positive anomalies. And in plain terms, it's just going to be warmer than normal. It's not going to be super cold the whole time. And we're going to have above average temps, especially here in this area across the south central U.S. And that includes Arkansas. So you're probably wondering, okay, warm, that sounds nice. But how warm are we really talking? I'll show you. So we're looking at one model here. This is the HRRR. And I will admit... This model can be just a little bit warm sometimes, but even then, guys, this has us up into the low 70s, 73 in Texarkana tomorrow afternoon, 70 in Fort Smith, 68 in Little Rock, 70 in Hot Springs. You, you kind of get the drift. This even has temperatures in the upper 60s as far north as Mountain Home. So really warm tomorrow. We'll see if we actually get that warm, but this is definitely the trend for those of you who like warmer temperatures, especially in late December. I know it's probably on everyone's mind is, you know, it's going to get warm. That's nice. But this is probably going to lead to severe weather, isn't it, Zach? And yes, I do think that the warmer trend will eventually lead us down a road where the cold air does return or a cooler air mass does return. And unfortunately, we'll deal with air mass collision, which usually results in severe weather. We already have signs of that occurring in early January. First, I want to show you what the SPC outlook looks like for early next week. According to the National Weather Service Storm Prediction Center, we do have a 15% outlook that spans across Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Tennessee. And this is for early next week, specifically the Monday and Tuesday time frame. So for right now, we're watching next Monday and Tuesday for severe weather possibilities. So where's this all coming from? The first thing I want to look at is the 500 millibar winds. Those of you who watch my videos know that this is one of the things I really like to look at. 500 millibars, around 18,000 feet up in the atmosphere. You can see the reds and the greens and stuff coming off the California coast into the Four Corners region, Texas, Oklahoma, and so on. And you can see it reaches Arkansas, Missouri uh, early next week. And what we're looking at here, you can see a trough. These dips in the atmosphere usually uh, spark a response at the surface, which then induces a response from the Gulf of Mexico and brings that warm, moist, unstable air up into our region that we need for severe weather. So how much storm fuel are we going to have access to? This is the golden ticket question during the fall and winter months. And right now it looks like we're going to have plenty. What we're looking at here is Cape. And in plain terms, this is thunderstorm fuel. Watch it funnel out of the Gulf of Mexico into Texas, Louisiana, and eventually into Arkansas. You can see these numbers, 800, close to 1,000. And we even reach 1,000 next Monday. Guys, that is more than enough instability in these winter months to spark severe weather. You don't need these values like in May and April, 4,000 to 5,000. So seeing this this far out, which usually these models underplay this, definitely a little bit alarming for early next week, but it's something to watch. This can easily change, but for now, definitely something to keep an eye on. So who's in and who's out for this system? Well, it would be foolish really to discount anyone. Speaking from a climatology standpoint over the last several years, Generally, central, southern, and eastern Arkansas are favored for these winter severe weather setups here in the state of Arkansas. Not always, but usually. Uh, but if you live anywhere in the state of Arkansas, it would definitely be a good idea to keep an eye on this system as we go through the next several days. We're still six days away, guys. So not asking you to panic, as always. It's just something to keep an eye on, keep in the back of your head, especially if you have plans for New Year's Day travel and beyond. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It means so much that you're here on my YouTube. Don't forget, head over to Facebook, follow me there. Just search Zachary Hall, Arkansas Storm Tracker. I'll put it right here. 
And then when you go from there, you're going to find that I post daily uh, on Arkansas weather information. I am a pro storm chaser, so I'm on the road a lot, and it looks like I'm going to be on the road again soon due to this system. I hope you guys have a wonderful week, and stay safe.